tomato, to kill a tomato. Attack of the killer tomatoes. Throw and gang with that important tweak. The right for monsters of which we speak. Except when he has a security leak. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, it's a ditch of pity. Whitley White reporting live and virtually uncensored from deep in the heart of the Belching Congo. And the question this reporter is asking is, why can't the killer tomatoes conquer the Belching Congo? Why? That is indeed the question. Except it would be more helpful to have the answer. Yes, my lad. And being the genius that I am, I have it. He's got it. The doc's got it. Uh, what you got? Worms. You got worms? Uncle Wilbur has some medicine that you... No, not me. The Belching Congo. It's full of tomato worms. So are you. So, my fuzzy little mistake, the one thing that all tomatoes fear is... Tomato worms! The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. No parking. They really mean it. Bell, but people who? Quiet, you two. We're traveling in communicado. Gee, Doc, I thought we were going to Africa on a big old airplane. Oh, I'm getting a bad feeling about this plan of yours. <laughs> There's only one way left to get out of San Zucchini. How degrading for someone of my stature. Forced to use the back door. It was the only way to get into the Africa ride. <laughs> no way! I love the Africa ride! I hope this works, Chad. It's the only way to Africa. Trust me. Okay, everyone, seatbelt passage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Move on out. Hi. Somewhere down there in that hot, sweltering, teeming city on the edge of the jungle, this week's story continues to unfold. Africa. This is where agriculture started. My ancient ancestors first took root here. I'm just glad our bunch is big enough this season to get us out of San Zucchini. 
friendly. Think if I can see Diggy. <laughs> Dr. Gang Green should have met us by now. I don't really trust him, Chad. Neither do I. But I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he really has changed. Your cloaks? Dr. Putra T. Gangrene, to see Peppy. Bummer, my stupid zipper stuck. You're late. Peppy doesn't like to be kept waiting. Quit it. Quit being stuck. <laughs> Dr. Gangrene, I presume. <laughs> You're late. I don't like to be kept waiting. And I'm a busy man. I canceled an honorarium at a silly scientist society to come to Africa. Of course. <laughs> Can I offer you a drink? Uh, how about a V6? Oh, uh, change that to a mineral water. Shaken, not stirred. You're certain this is the map to the heart of the Belgian Congo? It ain't. <laughs> Malibu. This better be imported. I hate domestic fertilizer. <laughs> it's best to let it breathe. <laughs> you were right, Chad. Gangrene is trying to double-cross us. And he's got the map to the heart of the Belching Congo. But how are we gonna get it? I will get it. Back after these messages. Hmm, why the heck? I know who you are. I... Allow me to handle this. And who are you? TBI, Tomato Bureau of Investigation. We've been watching these three for some time. Take them! Lagoon from the previous season. Not all tomatoes are vicious veggies bent on pillage and destruction. Speaking of pillage and destruction, I think we should be going. Give me that pity! Nobody treats Fang like this! This way to the heart! Yeah! Well, but how are we gonna get across the river? Oh, I wish I hadn't asked. Hurry it up, Igor. We need to beat that rotten little kid to the heart. Yes, you're... I'm really glad you saved us, Link. So am I. But how are we gonna find our way to the heart of the Belching Congo without a map? Don't worry, it's easy. 
Just follow the yellow brick road. That's great. But if we can follow it, so can... Kedjuk, my tomato ally. I'm so glad you could join me in this quest. Yeah, yeah. Whenever some tomato messes up, they always call on ketchup. <laughs> exactly what are we questing after? Ah, yes. There's a smart little kid. A beautiful girl who used to be a tomato. A fuzzy little tomato. A mad, strike that, an angry scientist. And his Malibu henchman. <laughs> that don't sound so bad. Oh, yes. And maybe a few tomato worms. That sounds bad. <laughs> Almost there, Dr. Gangrene, your Lewis and Clark ship. You can open your eyes now. Darn, if this wasn't a kid's show, I could use real scissors. There. Now, if anyone tries to follow, they'll get wet. Very wet. <laughs> Careful where you step. We don't want to cause any ecological damage. Be fine, oh, human. I smell something. Rotten humans? Mmm, it's you. <laughs> I told you to take a bath. You know how I hate water. <laughs> I feel ready. I don't like it either, FT. But it's the only way across. We could go around. On the other hand... You first. What do you mean, me? First. Why do I always have to be first? Because I'm smarter than you are. Oh. Well, in that case... I think we'll be okay. The bridge can't support their weight. It's our weight that I'm worried about. Whoa. I think it's gonna hold. Ah, we're getting away. I hate it when they do that. in a cartoon. That's really gross! Ooh. This looks like an old movie set. This is an old movie set. From return of the killer tomatoes. We had it shipped in from Hollywood. Of course, uh, we thought it was a real town when we bought it. Over here! 
Dr. Jane Green, what are they? <laughs> a bat. You won't believe how much dirt there is in a jungle. <laughs> Lower, Igor. Yes, that's better. Good boy. Oh, yes, you rub a dub, Shep. The tomato worms have agreed to return with us to San Zucchini and help to drive off the tomato menace. Gee, that's great, Tara. But I thought they'd be a lot bigger. I think we've been here before. Nonsense. Fang never gets lost. Onward, you laggard. Hey, I'm not... <laughs> Whatever you said. I'm as much tomato as you. And I still say we're lost. You live here? During the off-season. Wow! It's not much, but I call it home. This will get you back to San Zucchini. Oh, awesome. What is it? A fax machine, dweeb. You're gonna fax us to San Zucchini? Why not? After all, this is the age of technology. Who is this? My brother, the black tomato of the family. I hate to admit it, but he's in showbiz. I hate to be pushy, but we really gotta get back to San Zucchini. from the dreaded tomato menace. It will be a long and bitter fight. There will be many hardships, but we shall prevail. It really gets you, <laughs> don't it, Doc? <laughs> it will not be humanity and the tomato task force that prevails. Huh? Then <laughs> who will it be? Me, Dr. Putrid T. Gangry, that's who. I will prevail. <laughs> Man, your hatch is hoist you. Hey, what's up, dude? It's Doc. Doctor. I am not now, nor ever will be, dude. I am mesmerizing these tomato worms with my music. Oh, awesome. Just like the Pied Peeper. That's Piper. Hey, watch it. What? What? Uh, Dr. Gangreen, you left your flute! Let it went to me! Dynamo Duck here. You can't see me just now because I'm undercover. But stick around for my amazing swashbuckling adventure. Coming right up. Then you're invited to Bobby's surprise birthday party on Bobby's World. Right after my greatest victory at sea as Dynamo Duck Saturday continues next here on Fox. Thank you.